Okay, we will be looking at the drawing toolbar, the basic drawing drawing toolbar. Okay, this is how you open your inventor, go to new, click on the page on top of new. You're having this little screen opening. You will find that it will show templates normally like this if your inventor is still new. Then you click on the little arrow, you will have a drop down menu, click on mat matric, select matric and then go straight across and double click on standard millimeter IPT. Okay, to start the drawing, you have to go to 2D sketch. Just above that, you have this icon. Click on it, single click. You're clicking with your left hand side of your mouse. That's your XY plane. Choose the XY. You do have other planes there, which is a ZX, ZY, and this is ZX. Uh, let's choose XY. Okay, now your basic drawing toolbar consists of these. One, which is your line, circle, your arcs, squares, your fillets. Underline, you will find more, more, uh, more lines, uh, which is basically splines that you can connect when you do your drawings, but you will just use the basic line. For your circle, you will be using circle, ellipse and circle tangent then we have our arcs we're having a three point arc a tangent arc and a center point arc for rectangle to, we have all these rectangles all of these dependent on what you need to draw you you will use all of them. here's your pol polygon as well you can also draw polygons there you have your fillet with your chamfer. This that is for corners and sides. Okay, we will discuss on how to use the toolbar here. You click on line, you'll see it will turn into a plus sign. Go to the center, it's always good to start your drawing in the center. Click, which is your left click, move your mouse to the left or the right. You can now see see as I move. You can see there's a constraint show, showing there, straight line constraint, which is red in color. It's the horizontal constraint and then it, uh, the distance, which is 24 millimeters. So I click again. I can press escape. My line is here. There's my line. Let me select line again. At the edge of that point there, I can click. I'm going to move upwards, look at the distance going, and look at the constraint. That's the vertical constraint. The red square there, that's the vertical constraint. And you click again. You can now move to the side. If you can see that uh, perpendicular sign there, the little box moving with me, showing that these two lines are perpendicular with one another. Click again. Okay. So we have a straight line, a vertical line constraint and a perpendicular constraint. Going downwards, there's perpendicular again. And I am touching a point here at the bottom. That's why the sign has changed. The little arrow with the line there. So I have just touched the line, which means we are connected securely. It's very important to draw closed drawings so that when you extrude, or you need to do certain things with your drawing to function, it needs to be completely closed. Okay, here's the constraint. That is 90 degrees, which is perpendicular there, and that straight line, and this is horizontal. Okay, that's what we have. That's how you draw your line. You can also click on line and then draw lines at an angle. Draw one line like that. Click again. To get rid of this wire, you press escape. You can now see that 
your line is not selected there anymore because you pressed escape so all you do again is just press enter to get back into your line there we go it's selected because i pressed enter and you can draw another line at an angle escape okay that's the basic line function circles i'm going to press escape just to go out of my functions i'm i'm clicking in the corner and i'm going to drag this is left click drag right over all these lines and then press delete you can however just select one line and then press delete let's go for circle click on circle use your left click button click move and click let's do that again click move and click these are your circles you can apply a dimension to it by just clicking on the circumference and click again type in the number say 30 and enter let's do it here again left click click move click and i'm going to make it 20. okay that is your circle function i'm going to press escape to get out of my dimension and then i'm going to click on the circumference and press delete circumference and press delete let's left click so i'm clicking on this little arrow here and select ellipse right just in your drawing exercises on your drawing board uh, let's click on the center move out to the side it's click which is left click move left click and then move upwards click again let's do it vertically click which is left click move click move sideways there you have your ellipse all you need now is to put in your size click on dimension the dimension will constrain it to keep to that certain size click you on the side click on the circumference move out to the side and just make that eight click again on the uh, circumference move upwards let's make that 20. enter we can look at this one as well click on the circumference go upwards click and let's make that 15 enter click circumference go out to the side click 8 enter and that's the ellipse right i'm going to left click and then drag while keeping in the left click button leave it and then press delete the next thing is your arc i'm not gonna worry about the tangent that we will do in our constraints your arc you can have a three point arc where you click click and click right that's what you get if you have no no points but when you have three points where you need to connect your arc in then you can put an arc on those three points but however that's not the main arc that i want to show you this here is basically like a fillet okay you can use this, this with your constraints so don't worry about this one let's look at center point arc once you click and you need to put in a radius you click move click and then move your mouse click again and there you have your radius let's do that again at your center point arc you click look at your dotted line moving wider click move and click and that's your radius you can give it a dimension click the circumference and let's call it 85 delete your rectangle 
If you draw a rectangle, you can you can go and say, right, okay, I want to draw a rectangle. But you can see the difference between this rectangle and the other one I'm going to show you just now. If I click the center, the rectangle will move out to the side like that. You don't want this type of rectangle if you need to draw your drawing in the center. So if you click, which is left click, move and click again, that's your rectangle. But here is a rectangle for three points and two points. These are the two basic ones that you can use with, that will help you a lot. So uh, click on two point rectangle. If you click in the center there, click and move. Look at this. Stays nicely in the center and you can move to the outside. And click again. Put in dimensions. It's your horizontal dimension. Let's say it's 100 and enter. Vertical dimension. Let's say make that 50 and enter. And yes, I'm going to delete this. Click delete, click delete, click, click delete, click delete. That is your center point rectangle. Very nice. Okay, not to worry about all of these. You will be able to, to work with them and play around with them. But these can be drawn manually as well. Okay, going to polygon. Clicking on polygon. You can click and move and click. You can see that it's a one-two combination when you use Inventor. When you draw a line, when you draw a circle, when you draw an arc, a polygon, a square, it's click, left click, move, and click again. Except with the ellipse where you have to click, move, click again, and then you move upwards or to the side, dependent on the orientation. Right. Now here you can see that that is six sides. You can also change it if you want, let's say, 10 sides. So you click and move and click. So this is what your polygon is about. You can go to, let's say, four sides. Click, move, and click. And you can have a square. Well, let's go for a pinta, five. Click, move, and click. There you go. And you can give the dimensions to, to these. Let's say 45. Click and move to, you can see the dimension here is not a line. That's not the actual dimension. Very important. Please take note. So you right click. You go down, right click, go down and click aligned. The dimension will then be aligned to that size. 35. Okay. I'm going to delete all of these. I'm going to escape from dimension. Look at the blue there. I'm escaping and it's gone. Now I'm clicking the corner, keeping the button, drag it and delete. Next thing, I'm just going to quickly draw a rectangle. Center point. There's my rectangle there. And I'm going to show you how does your fillet work. This is fillet. Uh, I want a radius of 30. For my fillet on the side, I'm ty typing in 30, you keep your cursor on one line, click, move, click. There's your radius. Same thing. Left click, you use left click, click, move, click, click, move, click. Alternatively, you can keep it on the corner. Okay. Sometimes you can keep it on the corner and you can just click once and it will work. So we can do the same here. Click, move, and click. Okay. Uh, let's go to chamfer. Chamfer. 2 millimeters. I want a chamfer of 45 millimeters. So, chamfer has three ways of using it. You have D and D, which is the same measurement. So it'll give you 45 degrees. If you click on one line and then the next, there is your 45 millimeter chamfer. I'm going to say undo. I'm going to click on chamfer again. You click on one line, move, and then the next. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to say undo again. Right, looking at this one, you can see you have D1 and D, two different distances. 
the horizontal one is the long side and then the vertical one is the short side. Okay, so D1, which is distance, I want it to be, let's leave it, let's say 50. And then D, D which is distance 2, it doesn't show the 2 there because it's very constrained today. So let's say uh, 25. Uh, going to one line, click on the one line, and then the next, you'll be able to get your 25 by 50 chamfer. This one here, same thing, but it works with an angle. Okay. Let's say the angle will be 55 degrees, and the distance will be 50. So you'll have a 50 at 55 degree angle. There you have it. Basically the same as the D1 and D, this one here, but you do it with a, an angle. Right, you, you will have text as well, and geometry text. Th this is when you are done with your drawing or you want to type on something or you want to type some wording. Okay, but this is not important when you start drawing on this screen. You will do it when you generate your drawings. And this is your center point. You can just put it in the center before you draw. It will help you to connect to the center. Okay, guys, that is your basic toolbar to draw your drawings. Thank you very much.